Hello and welcome. This is Pre-Uni New College. This video is intended to provide information about thinking skills and how to solve these questions through logical steps. These logical explanations and solutions will be beneficial. However, please be advised it does not give all the answers to solving the thinking skills questions. Most importantly, consistent study and reading are essential for successful outcomes. Pre-Uni New College has always taught logic to students and this video is intended to guide and benefit you. This video and guideline about thinking skills is not intended as a shortcut to understand the logic. Students must consistently study to achieve successful results. Let's begin the video. Welcome to part two of an explanation of different logic questions that you may encounter. In part two, we'll be going through contradictories and contraries. Firstly, let's look at contradictories. Let P be the claim that my sister is at pre-uni new college. A contradictory is a claim that always has the opposite truth value of another claim. In this case, the contradictory would assert that the claim P is false. The notation for contradictory of P is not P, which is my sister is not at pre-uni new college. This is the truth table for contradictories. If P is true, the contradictory would be false. If P is false, then the contradictory would be true. Let's look at this sample question. People who wish to participate in the race must have both a driver's license and a car. If this is true, which of these sentences must also be true? If Olivia does not have a car, she must not have a driver's license. If Olivia cannot participate in a race, then she must not have a car. If Olivia does not have a driver's license, then she cannot participate in the race. Or is it D? If Olivia has a car, then she must have a driver's license. Let's look at the solution. From the question, there are two conditions that both must be true to participate in the race. Let P be the statement owns a car and let Q be the statement has a driver's license. It can be noted here that the question does not describe a relationship between P and Q, only their relation to participating in a race. Options A and D are therefore incorrect. Since not Q is true when Q is false, not Q is the same as saying that Q is false. Similarly, if P and Q means that Olivia can participate in the race, then P and not Q means that Olivia cannot participate in the race. A truth table can be drawn using P and not Q as shown. There are two cases where not Q is true and P and not Q is also true. This means that the statement, if Olivia does not have a driver's license, then she cannot participate in the race is true. It's worth noting that if Olivia cannot participate in the race, then it is not necessarily due to her not having a car. She can have a car, but not have a driver's license and not be able to participate in the race. In this slide, we will be looking at the difference between contradictories and contraries. Let P be the statement, the box is black, and C be the statement, the box is white. Contradictories are the two statements that must have the opposite truth values in all possible worlds. But what if the box is grey? Then this means that claims P and C are both false and that is not meant to be possible if they were contradictories. These two claims are called contraries. Contraries are claims that can't both be true at the same time but can be false at the same time. Next, we will look at the contradictories in a conjunction structure. A 
contradiction is a conjunction of the form P and not P. It is logically impossible for a claim to be both true and false at the same time, so all contradictions are false as shown on the truth table. Let's look at an example. Let P be the claim, my sister is at the mall. And let C be the claim, my sister is not at the mall. P and C are contradictories and can form a contradiction when placed in a conjunction together. The contradiction conjunction of P and C is the claim, my sister is at the mall and not at the mall. This claim is false for all possible truths. This truth table shows that all possible truth values of contraries P and C will lead to a false conjunction. Let's look at an example. Let P be the claim my sister is at the mall and let C be the claim my sister is not at the mall. P and C are contradictories and can form a contradiction when placed in a conjunction together. The contradiction conjunction of P and C is the claim, my sister is at the mall and not at the mall. This claim is false for all possible truths. The truth table shows that all possible truth values of contraries P and C will lead to a false conjunction. Next, we look at consistency and inconsistency. A set of claims is consistent if it's logically possible for all of them to be true at the same time. Logically possible means that there is no contradiction. Let's look at these two sets. All koalas are endangered. Some koalas are not endangered. Is an inconsistent set because they are logical contradictions of each other. If one is true, the other must be false. All koalas are endangered. Kogi is not endangered. Is a consistent set because both can be true. It would be inconsistent if Kogi was stated to be a koala. All koalas are endangered. Kogi is not endangered. Kogi is a koala is an inconsistent set because one claim has to be false if the other two are true. It's important to note that if a set is inconsistent, then at least one of the claims must be false. However, logic doesn't tell us which one is false. Here are the three possible false statements from the previous example. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it has helped you understand a bit about thinking skills and the logic needed to solve these questions. Please note, as stated at the beginning of the video, studying and reading consistently are essential for successful outcomes. Take care. Goodbye.